Hello, friends. Yeah. This is the Chameleons. Chameleons are an English post-punk band from Manchester in 1981 with Mark Burgess on bass and vocals, Reg Smithies and Dave Fielding on guitars, and drummer John Lever. But they were the Chameleons UK to avoid being mistaken for the American Chameleons, you'd think one or the other of these bands could just change into something else. Change, change colors or something. Script of the cringe, uh, wait, script of the bringe went in. <clears throat> hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure I've got the right Chameleons here. Well, they, they might be the right chameleons, but I don't know how to find out for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one up to you guys. Is it the right chameleons, or is it the wrong chameleons? You could probably leave a message for me in the message area, and I will have a look at that and perhaps even write back. Maybe something like, yeah, I know, I got the wrong band again. <sighs> Sometimes I just, you know, I like doing this show. Sometimes I don't like it as much. This is one of those times I don't like it as much. I don't particularly like this band. I mean, they're not bad. It's not, you know, they're not my thing. Kind of Roxy music sound, I think. Anyhow, their script of the bringe went in 83. What does anything mean, basically? And strange times followed in 86 and 87. The Chameleons disbanded that same year when their manager died. Burgess and Lever went on to form the Sun and the Moon. Fielding and Smithy formed the Reeds. But the Chameleons reformed in 2000. Three years saw three more LPs. But that was again the end. Burgess still plays Chameleon songs live as Chameleons Vox. They are considered especially underrated. There was a cult following, and John Peel got them noticed and signed with Epic. In Shreds was the first single produced by Stephen Lillywhite, who had produced Susie and the Banshees. XTC, Big Country, Simple Minds, The Psychedelic Furs, and others. Smithies also provided sleeve art for all of their work. The art propelled a sense of atmospheric feelings which carried to the music the band did not get along with their label which perhaps held them back from commercial success. I hate it when that happens. The label dropped them when In Shreds failed. They had far better experience with Virgin, a more hands-off type of label, but their involvement kept them off the independent chart where they might have found a niche. As it was, they were adopted by the U.S. college radio uh, people. They, the spin-off bands also had no chart success. Success, success, success. 
fuck success. Just keep playing.